What's good, Hoopers? My name is Marco Lopez. I'm the doctor of physical therapy and co-founder of the Basketball Doctors. Our goal for the Basketball Doctors is to provide the latest evidence-based research on injuries, rehab, and performance. So this is all just educational information, not medical advice. If you're dealing with any injury, feel free to reach out to us or reach out to your local physician or physical therapist. So before we start the video, please hit the subscribe button so we can start getting more videos out to you guys and the algorithm likes that. But for today's topic, we're gonna to talk about how to decrease your risk for ACL injuries. So when we talk about ACL injuries, we have a video here that explains all things in ACL injuries, how you tear them, just ACL 101. But I'll give you guys a quick breakdown. So the ACL is the anterior cruciate ligament that goes from the back of the knee in this area, and you can see, zoom in here, that's the ACL goes from the back to the front. So the reason it goes from the back to the front because it provides that stability. So if you tear it, let's say we do a little test um, in the field, we grab onto this leg and pull it, it will be a little bit loose. And that's the reason why the ACL is big because it provides that stability in the knee. The biggest thing that we've seen all the time is a lot of athletes are tearing their ACL at an alarming rate. And a lot of them are tearing it non-contact wise. So when you tear your ACL, there's two ways for you to tear it a contact way and a non-contact way. A contact way is something that we cannot prevent. Meaning, let's say your foot's there and someone comes in and hits your knee at a certain angle, that causes your ACL. It doesn't matter how strong you are, how much you worked on your movement mechanics, the whole point is you can't avoid that contact with you, someone, hit, someone hitting you. That's gonna end up with a little ACL tear if it's the right amount of force. However, 70% of all ACL injuries are non-contact. So non-contact means your knee gives out or you tear your ACL when no one's around and you're just doing a move. And that's one of the most common things we've seen. We've seen it in basketball players like Jamal Murray when he does that Euro step and his knee comes in. Also Kawhi Leonard. But the biggest thing what happens is here's your ACL. You land and then you your knee slightly bent, not bent all the way and the knee comes in, it goes into that valgus, so internal rotation. So what happens, they call it the uh, point of no return. Your knee goes in, your body weights in the opposite direction, puts the maximum amount of stress in the ACL, and that's what leads to this tear. The biggest thing with these ACL tears, like we mentioned, the non-contact tears, we can decrease them. And one of the ways we could decrease the risk of these injuries is working on one, movement mechanics, strength, and just overall working on those movements that you do on the court or on the field all the time. One of the movements that we do all the time in the field, especially if you're playing basketball or volleyball, is landing. So in today's video, we're gonna go over all the different types of cues we work on athletes on working their landing mechanics. Because if you notice, a lot of uh, ACL injuries occur when you land. Either you're landing from a jump or you're about to jump again, but it's more that deceleration aspect. Either you're stopping or you're landing from a jump to go to another jump. So today we're just gonna be focusing on the landing mechanics and how to really cue you and make sure you're re really working, making sure you're landing correctly and not putting yourself at risk. So check it out, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna go over now landing mechanics. So landing mechanics are important because as I mentioned earlier, 70% of injuries are non-contact. A lot of the injuries occur when you land from a jump. So we're gonna go over how to land properly from a jump using the proper mechanics that we want. So a quick little drill to kind of screen athletes is, let's see how you land. One thing that I'll have them do is I'll have them jump with two legs, land with one. So they'll jump, land with one. So when I'm looking at when you land with one, so I'll break it down here, a couple things. One is your trunk stability. So meaning when I jump and land, do I move from my upper body a lot or do I keep it stable? I want my trunk to be stable. So if I'm hopping here, my trunk is relatively stable. I'm not twisting and turning. That's one thing. Two, pelvic stability. So when I hop, land, is my pelvis neutral or am I dropping too much? If I'm dropping too much, that's gonna put more stress on the ACL. So that's another thing. So we're looking at that pelvic stability. Third one is that knee stability. So as I jump, is my knee al landing aligning with my second and third toe? Or is my knee coming in? Or is it going out to the side too much? I want it to be in that around that second and third toe. 
So when I hop, ideally, I wanna be able to have good stability in my knee, so knee aligned with my second and third toe, pelvic stability, so I'm not dropping here, and trunk stability, because if my trunk goes out to the side, puts more stress on the ACL. Pelvis drops, more stress on the ACL. Knee comes in, more stress on the ACL. From the side view, when I jump and land, I wanna have a good knee and hip strategy. So meaning my, I'm not, when I'm landing, I'm not landing and my trunk is too upright and my knees pass way past my toes. Or the other option is too much of a hip strategy. So when I hop, boom, I hop and my knee doesn't even bend, I bend too much of the hip. I wanna have a combination of both. So when I land, my knees bending, but also my hips bending as well. So I could use my hip muscles, also my quad and hamstrings to protect my landing. So that's the way we kind of screen. And a quick drill, if the athlete is having trouble doing that from landing from a box or jumping like this, you can just start having them doing a snap down where we're here and then we drop on one leg. Quick little thing that you could do without putting too much force on the ground. Hopefully you guys learned a lot in today's video to kind of recap everything. 70% of all ACL injuries are non-contact injuries and we could play a huge role in decreasing the risk for those ACL injuries. So biggest thing is we have to work on your movement qualities, movement mechanics. So hopefully you guys got a lot from that. And if you guys like our videos, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. And also check out our whole list of ACL videos. We have an ACL playlist. And if you guys have any questions, just comment below on anything that you guys want us to shoot or film. But we are the basketball doctors. Let's ball for life.